Yeah, okay, and we've only a few days to go until the start of the season, the League Cup match next week. So, how do you assess the squad? Where are you at just now? I think things have came together really well. Uh, we've started pre season, uh, some really good performances, good results, and we're looking forward to the season ahead. Can you tell by the pre season that you have, like obviously going back to when you were a player as well, maybe you've had good pre seasons, bad pre seasons, can you can you tell how it's going to sort of affect the start of the season, does it? It doesn't always work like that. Um but it's always nice when you win a few pre season games and there's good uh, good performances, it builds up a bit of confidence. And we can see the confidence we had for last season as well, so uh, we know it's going to be a big challenge this year, but it's one we're looking forward to. And we don't have a match of the weekend, but lots of other teams that we're playing uh, that we're we'll coming up against in the League Cup and in the League. Are you planning to go out and uh, watch a few matches this week? Yeah, I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to the Hibs game tonight. Um, obviously, we've got the European game, and then go to some games over the weekend. We'll try and spread it between the, the three years. And it's going to be a difficult season, I don't think there's any doubt about that, but going and watching these teams will give you a better idea as to where their strengths and their weaknesses are. It's always good to go and watch them, but obviously teams like Hibs, new manager, probably a different style of play, uh, so it's important you get to see how they're playing and who their best players are. But it's about us again, we've got to focus on ourselves now, really focus on other teams. Uh, if we do what we're capable of, then I'm sure we'll do well this season. And sticking with us, I believe there's a couple of injury concerns. Can you maybe update us on that? Uh, it's more or less the same ones. David Hopkirk, he came on the other day in the, the game against Hamilton, just hurt his back. Well, he's, his back's sore, but it's more his hamstring. Um, Sean Murdoch's still struggling with his wrist. Um, so we'll just take specialist advice with him to see which way to go, um, whether he has to rest it or whether he comes back training or not, so time will tell with that one. Um, but other than that, we're, we're looking pretty strong. With Sean Murdoch, it was, I was speaking to David Hutton when he re-signed and he gave the impression, well, he, as you'd expect, that he wanted to be the number one goalkeeper and he's come in and I'm guessing he's going to get his chance over the next couple of weeks. And You've got two good goalkeepers there. It's the same for every position. It's all about grabbing your chance when you get it. Uh, Hutts has done really well since he's a few games he's played. And it's all about continuing the performances uh, to make sure that it keeps the jersey. And I see me ask you this every week, there's obviously the ongoing uh, trying to get more players in the door. You've said before that you still feel the squad's a little bit thin. Nobody's come in since then, but I'm guessing the, the search continues. It does. It's not, uh, it's not something that happens overnight. Um, as I said many times, it's about getting the right calibre of players in, the right quality, um, so we can take the club forward. Um, so it takes a bit of time and we've got to make sure we get the right ones. And also getting the right sort of person in as well so they fit in with the squad. It is, we've got a great group. Um, and you look at the performances this year, I think even maybe some of the boys that never played a lot last year, like Spencey and Reese McCabe, I think they'll play a big part this year.